What up everybody? This is welcome back to the Hancock Show. This is Hancock. What it is, how y'all doing, man? We're gonna do something a little different today, alright? Uh so uh walk with me this way, y'all. Walk with me for a second. Alright, y'all. Uh this past weekend we had two horror movies come out, and we got a whole hell of a lot more of them coming out, man. What is going on? Uh The Final Destination and Halloween 2. Both at the same time, what is going on? Why are you trying to scare people? Now it's all about this. It's not even October yet, man. Wait till October get here. So I'm gonna do my top list of the scary, ultimate, ultimate scary ass villains, y'all. All right. I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it like this. All right. Uh, because that's how, that's how I want to do it. All right. So uh, let me know what, what y'all think. All right. Now I'm gonna do something different. A lot of people have their top ten, top ten is top ten that. I'm going to do top 12 because these villains are that scary. If I left any of them out, they would try to hunt me down and kill them. And then, for a surprise, whoever's number one, I got number one in the studio, y'all. I'm going to interview number one up in here. So, and that's going to be scary, man. I'm for real. All right, man. This is how it's going to be. I'm going to start off with number 12, all right? Number 12. Number 12, T-1000, man, from, from Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Man, I don't care what you say about any of the other Terminators, man. He was the scariest, man. He could turn to anybody. And that's it. You, you dead. As soon as he turned to you, you're dead. You, you're dead. That's it. He gonna kill you. Arnold couldn't do nothing. The other, uh, All them other Terminators, they, they couldn't even do any better than him, man. He was the ultimate scary one, man. Nobody, I, if you was in the same room with him, you dead. Simple as that. Number 11, the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. I'm talking about the Disney version. Okay, all right. I know what y'all thinking. A Disney cartoon. How the hell did a Disney cartoon make the list? Man, I'm gonna tell you like this, and why she's the scariest Disney cartoon villain in my opinion. She first thing you see her, she talking about cutting somebody's head off, right? And then she's all nice and smiling to Alice, and then she's all go crazy. I mean, like she made me nervous, man. Just even that smile. It looked evil. No matter what, she makes you nervous, man. I'm wondering how the Tim Burton, I don't think Tim Burton version is going to top that, man. Because she creeped the hell out of me, for real. Uh, number 10, the thin man at the end of Record, of R-E-C, Record, which is the Spanish version of uh, Quarantine. Now, if y'all seen Quarantine, they're, they're, uh, I'm, I'm going to spoil this for y'all. There's, there's, a, there's a villain at the end. Uh, in the house or whatever, in the, in the quarantine house or whatever, man. And he's locked up in the basement. This dude is scary as hell, man. And uh, the American version, he ain't that scary. Look, he's alright. He's like, ooh, kind of chill. But you see the, the original and record, wreck or whatever, man. It, I was like, <gasps> I don't know how to react when I saw that thing walking by, man. I had nightmares, and I'm a grown ass man. That's crazy. All right, uh, number nine, Jason Voorhees, Michael Myers. Michael Myers, not Mike Myers, and uh, Leatherface. I put them all next to each other, man, because those are those big old juggernaut killers, man. All right, they, these guys are scary. They walk slow. They don't say nothing. They kind of mentally challenge, but these guys been killing since they were little kids, man, and they, they, all they know is to kill. That's all they want to do is kill you. That's it. They see you, they want to kill you. That's it. I mean, simple as that. It's like they got no other goals in life but to it's like I think what would be going on in their mind is hmm living let's kill him hmm he's living let's kill him hmm, she's walking around let's kill him I think that's how they be thinking that's how they be thinking man you know they, they can't talk they just sitting there walking let's kill him let's kill him I'm gonna kill you I'm gonna kill you now Leatherface he had a whole crazy family that's just all right, all of them got crazy families. I forgot to mention that, man. Jason, his mama was doing all the killing first. She crazy. Uh, Mike Myers, um, he killed his family. So, and then his sister fighting him, all that stuff. But that's just, that's, it's just dysfunctional family. So if y'all got a dif dysfunctional family, watch out. Number eight, The Ring and The Grudge. I put these back to back because it's like the same villain, man. It's like a ghost girl, and they both from uh, they both from they both Japanese films, man, man. But I'm telling you, man, while I saw them things, some things are scary, man. I, I'm gonna tell you like this. I don't know what it is with a girl, an Asian looking girl with hair all straggly in front of her face, uh, creeping up at you. Yeah, that scared the hell out of me. And then in the ring when the girl came out of the TV, I shit myself, man. 
Somebody in the theater, they just got up and ran out the theater. I'm dead serious. I'm not kidding about that, man, for real. Uh, number seven, Megan from The Exorcist. If y'all know who that is, all you gotta do is watch The Exorcist. I'll start to say The Exorcist, but the girl has a name. The demons, they all possessed and stuff, man. She's scary as hell, man. That movie scared everybody. That, that movie was ahead of its time, man. All the other Exorcist movies cannot top that original with her as the villain, man. She did some crazy shit, man. I was like, I still can't watch that movie in the dark today. I'm dead serious, man. I, I cannot I cannot do it. I just can't. You won't, I'm serious, man. You ain't gonna make me do it. I'm for real. Uh, number six, The Raptors from Jurassic Park. All right. This is the only villain on the list that's, well, okay, they're not really, uh, no, 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 really human, a lot of them are ghosts, but they, these are just straight up some animals, man. I don't care what y'all say, these are the scariest ass animals I've ever seen in my life because they're smart. They know how to open down doors and, and chase after your ass and trick your ass. What kind of shit is that? How does an animal know how to do that with all them sharp teeth he got? And then they fast. It's not like they just smart and that's it. They fast, they strong, they can get you. Man, come on man. You Would you rather be in a room with a raptor or Jason Voorhees? My point. Uh, number five, the Emperor from Star Wars. I know what y'all thinking. How come uh, Darth Vader ain't on the list? Because he's like the top villain for everything. He Well, he ain't make my list. Elf Darth Vader, man. I went for his boss. How you think Darth Vader is evil in the first place? It's his damn boss, man. I'm telling you, man, the Emperor, and then he got all scary looking at the end of part three, man. I'm like, oh, hell no, nah, man. This dude is crazy evil, man. He's like zapping people and stuff. Uh, and he's talking all evil. He all, nah, nah, all that stuff, man. Fuck that, man. Uh, number four, Hal from 2001, Space Odyssey, man. That is the ultimate scary robot, man. All these other movies with the robots taking over the world, it all came from Hal from 2001, man. He, this dude, this thing is so scary. You can't even go to another room without this thing spying on you, man. If you're in a ship with him, that's that's it. He can read your lips. He, he damn read your mind, man. I mean, hey, that's a classic movie I need to check out for real, man. He's probably the oldest villain I got on this list. Number three, the villain. From No Country From Old Man. Man, that dude is crazy, man. Y'all see that movie, man? That He is high up on the list for me, man. Cause man, man that dude, it's like you you in the same room with him, man. You don't know what's gonna happen. Y'all see the end of that movie, man? When he's with that girl, he tells him, call it, call it. And she's like, no, I'm not gonna call it, call it. And then you just see him walk out, you see him walk out the house like, what happened? What happened, they never tell you. It's like, oh damn, he killed him, or did he? I don't know, man, he crazy. Uh, number two, Freddy Krueger. All right, I didn't put Freddy in the same list with Jason and, and uh, Mike Myers and, and, and Leatherhead because he gets you in your sleep. You can't go to sleep. You see those people on Nightmare on Elm Street, they try their best to stay awake. You can't stay awake, and then he come and kill you in your sleep. You can't escape, you sleep. You can't wake up, you, he got you. And I mean, there's like no way to beat this guy at all, man. I, I can't, I can't think of a way for you to kill Freddy except scare him with fire, big ass deal. And number one, ultimate scary ass villain of all time, Death. Me, I say anymore. Uh, Death. You probably will best know Death from uh, Final Destination movies. Uh, he's been in a whole bunch of other movies. In fact, Death is in every single one of these movies I named. If he, he he's the main character in all these movies, but Final Destination is the one where he is actually chasing after your ass. It's like no, you, you we get, I'm getting you, I'm getting you, man. I'm serious, man. You can't see him. Uh, usually he's showing up as the Grim Reaper, and um, he is here right now to talk to us real quick. So uh, come on out, Death. Why, hello, Hancock. Still waiting on you to drop by. Oh yeah, yeah, man. Cause uh. I'm immortal, so, uh, sorry, man. That's all right. Just want to stop by and say hi. Especially to see some of you, see all of you soon. We will soon meet every single person that's watching this. <laughs> yes. Yeah, see, uh, that's why he's scary, because he's going to get every single one of us one day, man. Now, I named 12, but I felt like I left someone off the list, and you can't leave these people off the list. No! 